Hi, hi everyone. Welcome back. It's Karen here from Eden Secret. Um, I just wanted to show you what the double pork cupcakes look like and also to unmold them. Um, they look very similar in the camera, but these ones here, these are orange and purple, and these are my sweet magnolia. It's beautiful, beautiful floral. And these are my rock candy. And as you can see, this is how they turn out and every single one is different obviously just depends how the soap pours into the mold so I'm just going to unmold some of the sweet magnolias as well now I've meant to tell everyone um, Really, you should still wear your goggles when you're unmolding because I have done this before and flicked some of the soap straight up into my eye. Um, so make sure you wear your goggles when you're doing that. Goggles, you know what I mean, the protective glasses. So there you go. You see, everyone is unique in its own right and I've also done some lavender cupcakes that I'm going to show you There's just so many different ways you can make soap. I'm sure most of what you see has all been done somewhere before or is being done elsewhere. Just we don't see it because obviously not everybody wants to upload videos onto YouTube. But... I see more and more and more and more um, cupcake soaps and products that look like food, you know, bath and body treats, more and more and more that look fat like food. There's just one after another popping up in the UK and some that have literally been doing it for years. Um, but I promise I hadn't seen cupcake soaps anywhere in the UK when I first started doing them and actually I'm, I'm not sure but when I think about it I, I still don't think I've seen a UK company that do cupcake soaps I've seen um, cupcake bath bombs they don't look exactly like mine but they're very similar And of course, then there's another company um, that do what they call them bath creamers, and they just look like little chocolates. And they've been doing those literally for years. And actually, I used to buy them in the shop because um, I do like to support other companies my shop was never just all about my products um, if I see something else I like even if it's a soap that's very obviously the it's soap and I make soap but if someone else makes soap and it's not like mine and I like it then I would have no no qualms going out buying their products to sell as well as long as they sell wholesale so I've bought myself a tripod if you're wondering how the camera is very very still it's because I bought a tripod so I'm just going to lift it up now and show you they are pink I don't know if it's you can tell that now because they look very pink the other day but also over here I've done some of my um, toffee and honey 
cupcakes. Um, what else have I done new? On the bottom, they also need to be unmoulded, but I've done some rose ones as well with rose petals on the top. That's it really, there's nothing else new to see. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you is me unmoulding my bubble bath cupcakes as well. Now these, um, because the icing takes longer to harden up than the base, Obviously, you can't just pick one of these out of there and pop it on there. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I just use a knife with a pointy edge. And I just slide the knife down the side and just pop it out like so and these are my sugar queen bubble bath cupcakes and they have a piece of purple soap clear purple glycerin soap in the bot in the top and even if you use that leave the soap in you still get plenty of bubbles now i know this might sound crazy to some people but I have to tell people that you have need to put the bubble bath cupcake in the bath preferably under the tap to get your bubbles because it's the the pressure from the water splashing onto the cake that makes all your bubbles I know that sounds ridiculous that people wouldn't know that, but some people don't realise that. So I always open mine over the bath and um, pop it just below the tap and then turn the hot tap on and, and it all dissolves away, all of it. So I'm just on trying to get um, my shelves filled up again with the bubble cups. I've changed the top of the fairy dust. I've put some gold maker um, shell soaps in those instead just to make them a bit different because not everybody wants hearts in there in their products and you see the chance by chanel again i'm going to change that scent i really don't know what i'm going to make it but i cannot find a scent that i think works well with the green so i think it's going to be the same scent as my adventures in eden which has always been very popular and i can't believe i didn't think the first time i made these i actually made them in that fragrance so I think we're going to go back to the the lemon, bergamot, lemongrass, mechang and ginger. And all the rest I'm happy with. So these are my these are my dupe. I think they're called dupe dupes. Um you see they've got little frogs and dogs and things in. Great for a guy that one. Obviously there's no glitter on there. But that doesn't mean guys don't like glitter. I have got um, a lot of guys that do still love to have the glitter on their products. So there you go. I will look forward to seeing you next time. I'm just going to take you over to do my next video, which is going to be me unmoulding 